Hi, I'm Leanne Sclavanitis. I'm the owner of uh, fitnesstips.com.au, an online 13 week program where I help clients to be fitter and healthier no matter where they live. Um, I'm coming to you today, I've been in the fitness industry for over 20 years and passionate about being able to help people. One of the specialties that I focus on is setting up home-based programs for clients that they can do in their own home and as well as that, the uh, menopause and helping women as they are in the perimenopause through the menopause stage. Now in this time, as we know, we can be prior to menopause right through from our 30s heading up to 50s and beyond. That we only hit menopause when we have not had a period for 12 months. But prior to that time, there is so much going on in our bodies. Things such as we losing our muscle tissue, um, our estrogen and progesterone levels are heading, changing from up here to heading down, but to a point where the estrogen actually is a higher level than progesterone. And then what happens with that is we can then put on 2.2 kilos or five pounds per year of fat and losing our muscle along the way. Other things that happen during this time is we can get bloating, obviously weight gain, um, tummy bloating, uh, hot flushes, and a whole range of other symptoms. We feeling grumpy and um, heading there myself. So I'm like, what do we do? And how can I help you good people to um, alleviate those symptoms? So I wanted to give you some great tips today, four tips for you right now, and then I'm going to head to an exercise program using dumbbells only to enable you to do this at home. So the first thing to remember on an exercise front is we should work cardio and working hard when we are doing these exercises. If you're out walking with friends, fantastic, but let's just boost it up a level, wear a heart rate monitor and get your heart rate up to about 70 to 80 percent. Get sweating, get moving and get your body moving even more than you ever have. This will really benefit you when you hit into the menopause years. From um, an exercise, a, a food front, cut out all your dieting. Let's forget that word diet and just stop doing that. We stress um, around what food we eat, um, throw the scales in the bin and take a rest around getting on them constantly if you're one of those people. We want to decrease the stress levels. We want to not diet. We want to eat foods that are healthy for us um, and help us feel well. The biggest thing as we're heading into menopause is to increase our protein levels and the protein foods that we are eating in our food regime for the week. Really important to do that. My other number one big tip is to cut out all sugar. Let's get all sugar wherever possible, even decreasing it no matter where you're at. Write down what food you've been eating for a week. If you have a whole heap of sugar in that, Let's try and cut it back out. Your body and you'll feel so much better. You will help feel decreasing um, the fat that we can put on and maintain the muscle that we want to as we get into older, older years. So what do we do from an exercise and a weight side front? Here I'm going to show you a, a weight based program. I want you to use as heavy weight as you possibly can. I use dumbbells and I'll give you go through some core exercises of things to do. Number one tip, make sure if you're on any medication or you have, have um, in the hands of a GP for any conditions, please check with them before starting any program that I prescribe here. So let's get started. First exercise is the squat. Using dumbbells, again, you can buy these at any local store. Go heavy wherever you possibly can. We have our feet evenly apart and our shoulders back, hands by the side, and we're sitting and coming back. We want to sit back in these squats. We want to have the legs nice and strong. And turning side on, shoulders back, knees soft, sitting back on our squats. Make sure we're not locking the knees and our chest is up. 
great leg work. And do around a dozen of these, 12 repetitions. From the legs, we move to upper body because this whole program is based around working all major muscle parts, muscle groups of our body. Push-ups, we focus with chest, we work tricep. We come down to the floor with the hands out wider than the shoulders. From, the, from chest level, shoulders back, we draw in the tummy muscles and lower and lift. Lower and lift. Then we should focus on trying to improve our strength by heading to a full push-up, keeping the body straight, no locking through the elbows. And do as many of these as you possibly can. And then take a break. Moving on to working some back work. We use just a, low, a chair in the home and we do what's called a one arm row. Strengthening through our back, we have one knee on the chair, one hand on front and lifting the elbow high, keeping the spine long, knee soft that you're standing on, drawing the elbow up high and lower. Again, using a heavy weight to challenge ourselves, And then we swap over and repeat with the other arm. Using the chair again, we do some dips. So, using our body weight, we have our legs out in front of a chair, hands in the front, and we bend through the arm and extend up. As you progress, you can extend the legs out long in front of you, but use the strength through your arms to do this exercise. Spine runs along the chair, back is long, and continue. Do as many as you can as we strengthen and build muscle, and take a break. Our next exercise is the bicep curl. Our knees are soft, our hands out in front. We're curling up one arm, then the other. So we're working with both strengthening one arm and both together if you wish. And down. Side on, we have no swinging of the elbows. Curling up and down, lifting up and down. Moving on from there is the shoulder press. Again, our knees always remain soft. We bring the hands up to the side of the shoulders. We press the arms, the dumbbells, up into the ceiling, keeping the weight slightly out in front. We do not want to go back behind the head. Knees remain soft. Switch on your core muscles. Pressing up and down. Breathing out as you lift. In on the way down, lifting up and down, up and down. Building strength through the arms with the shoulder work. Then another important part is some core work. We come on down to the floor because we need to have some strong core muscles as well. We head down on our elbows into a plank or a hover drawing up through the tummy, we either stay on our knees or slightly lift knees off with body in a straight line. Make sure you're breathing and try and hold this for 30 seconds and build up to a minute where you can. If you feel anything within your back, then you come down to the knees and then take the rest and repeat. And moving on from that, is the side plank. We have the body in a straight line, hips, knees, right through to elbow, and we draw up. We're working the oblique, the side of the belly, the arms lifting up toward the ceiling. From here, we can then progress to a full side plank. Great work for our core, lifting up and breathing. Again, do what you can, bring it down when you need to rest. And of course, we then swap sides, bringing it down. 
And then we finish off with some normal sit-ups, taking the hands, hands at the forehead. We lift up and down, breathing up and down. Make sure you tuck through the chin, flatten through the tummy and lift up and release, lifting up and release. To progress this further, we can head to bikes, knees underneath our hips, and as we take the elbows back and the hands at the forehead, we lift up and then we cross alternate elbow and knee. Cross elbow, knee, cross elbow, knee, and swap. Each time as we're doing it, we're lifting through the upper body, lift, return, lift, and return. So build up to this exercise, again doing as many as you can and release. So that's about it for our program today. Hope you enjoyed. You can do this as a circuit so you can do it once and repeat it again. Or, and you can do it two and three times or you can repeat the same exercise for two or three rounds doing about 12 to 15 repetitions each. So I hope you enjoyed and got some value from this video today. Thank you. This is Leanne Sclavenitas from fitnesstips.com.au.